Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour 3 and in this particular tutorial video I'm going to show you how to add custom scenario missions that you get from the Steam Workshop to your remote Nitrado, for example, PC server in the cloud so that you can easily play these scenarios in co-op or I guess PvP as well if it's a PvP scenario. Because uh, one of the problems with trying to run these locally on your PC is that often you have to set up port forwarding and all that sort of stuff on your server at home. And it can't, sometimes it's not always that practical. But if you hire a remote server, you can put these missions on there. Now, it's not completely difficult, but it is, it's a little bit complicated. And if you're ever wondering, Rob, how do you learn to do all this stuff? Well, it's a lot of trial and error, but it's also having access and having a really good look for tutorials because sometimes there's tutorials that kind of explain most of it on the internet so what I will do in the description below this video you'll find all the relevant um, links but also you'll find this link to this tutorial by bisect hosting which basically gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of exactly what to do so for example in my case I want to have this Rocondo chapter 4 sandcastle co-op mission on my remote nitrado server done by foobar so first things first, what you've got to do is you've got to subscribe to it and then sometimes you'll have to start the launcher and then it will download the scenario to your local PC. However, unlike mods, this doesn't conveniently place itself in the workshop folder in your Armour 3 directory. It puts it somewhere else. Um, so what we need to do is we now need to rename, uh, copy and rename this file and then upload it to our server. So where are they? <laughs> that's the question, is it? Where is where is this file that's been downloaded? Okay, so what you want to do is if you go into um, Steam and then go to Armor 3 and then right click it and go to Manage Browse Local Files, it should open up a window. So this will now be your Armor 3 uh, directory. So in my case, on my computer, I've installed Armor 3 on my E drive. Yours is probably on your C drive. Something like C, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3. Or maybe something like C, User, Your Username, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3. But we don't want to go there. We want to go up one. Then we want to go, go to up another one. So now we're in Steam Library, Steam Apps. So Steam Library, Steam Apps. And what we're interesting, interested in is this workshop folder here. So if we double click on that, we go into here. And then we're interested in this folder here that says Content. And then you'll see this folder that says 107410. Now, if you've got other games installed on this particular drive, Steam games, there may well be other numbers as well. But 107410, that's a Steam's code for Armour 3. And if we click into here, you have all of these downloads that relate to scenarios and various other things, things like um, uh, mods as well. So you're like, okay, so which one is the scenario we're looking for? Well... What you need to have, and the easiest way to do this is on Steam, um, wherever you found it, um, but it's probably easier on the internet in Steam, is in the URL up here, you'll see we've got the ID of the scenario there. And in fact, um, also, I think if you're actually in the Steam app, you can find it as well by looking for custom URL. But this is the way I tend to do it, you find it there. The other thing you need to make note of is the map that we're on. So we're in Cam Lao Nam. That's the Vietnam map from Prairie Fire that's going to be there. So what we can do now is we can go back to that folder with all these numbers in. And then we can paste it into search. So we search for that number there. And that will take us to this folder. So if we go into here, we've got this folder. And we've got this file with this long number and these names. This is actually the file we're looking for. But it's got the wrong name at the moment. We need to change it so it says the mission name dot and then we're going to put in the map terrain name then dot pbo so what i tend to do is i copy this and then i paste it like so and then i just left click it and the first thing i do is just change change the end to pbo so that's like that are you sure you want to do that yeah yeah so i want to do that and then the next thing we need is the terrain name now what i've done is on my github repository and on my mega and the links to both of these will be down in the description below this video I've made a simple readme file, or on Mega, I think I've called it map names or something like that, 
that has the common terrain names for the maps um, that you'll find in Armour 3. And as I find more, I will then add more in. Now, they're normally fairly easy to figure out. So, for example, with our case of um, this one, where it's Cam Lao Nam, it's actually, if we go down here, it's Cam Lao Nam, but with uh, underscores as the spaces. So we can copy that. And then we can go back to our file, which was here, and we can left click that, and we could type, we could just paste that over the top. So it's Cam Lao Nam. Now we want to put in a dot right there, and then left arrow just to go past it. And then we just want the name of the mission. So what's it called? So Rakondo Corp Chapter 4 Sands Castle. So what you can do is you can copy that, go back to the file. Oop, go back to the right one. Left click on that. If we just arrow key just to left of the dot and do control V, and it's going to say, look, these are these you can't use these characters. So we're just going to change spaces for underscores. And we'll get rid of co-op, get rid of uh, the um, square brackets. So we'll end up with something like that. Then we press enter. So it's Rakondo Corp, Chapter 4, Sandcastle, dot Cam Lao Nam, dot PBO. So that's in the correct file format now for the server to understand. Now, as far as um, the case that you can use, from what I understand is the case doesn't matter. So if Cow Lao Nam was uppercase or one letter was uppercase and one letter was lowercase, I don't think it matters. From my testing, it doesn't matter. It just matters that you have Cam underscore Lao underscore them and obviously there's the other uh, names as well so now what we need to do is to get this file here up onto our um, server so there's a number of ways of doing this what you could do is if you open up your server your armor 3 server and then you go to the file browser and then go to the MP missions folder and then you upload the file you could do it that way um, the other way that you could do it, this is actually really easy, and I didn't know you could do this, but if you have an FTP program like FileZilla, connect to your server like Avery, and if we scroll down here, I can click on the MP missions here. Let's wait for it to connect. And what you'll see down here is these are the missions that are already on the server. And of course, this is a bit, I should have figured this out, but this is the beauty of Windows, isn't it? You can do something like this. You can just go here, left click and drag. Oop. Oh, sorry, if I did it to the right place, it would help, wouldn't it? Start again. Left click and drag down to FileZilla. And just drag it into the window. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we forget why we have Windows, don't we? The fact that you know it's designed to do this thing. So there it is there. So what we can do now is, if I back out of this server, so, so I'm at um, the launch screen of Armour uh, 3. So if I go multiplayer... Uh, server browser uh, server browser and then I connect to my server I've already got the password in wait for it to connect click on a uh, Cam Lao Nam what you should see now is there it is Recondo Co-op 4 Sandcastle let me log in because uh, I'm an admin so if I log in I can then just now say that's what we want uh, did it let me log in Hash, hashtag Login. There we go. I should now be right. Say so we want that one. I'll be alpha one one. So okay. So it's going to download the mission file from the server to um, the local computer. And obviously, you would stay in that lobby for a while while everybody logged onto the server, put their password in. You would click OK. They all get the uh, mission file downloaded. I think this just is a little bit slow because I've got a crap internet connection. Um, that will uh, should complete in just a second. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Let me drink a, have a little bit of coffee, which is probably cold by now. Here it goes. And here we are, loading into Vietnam Prairie Fire, Recondo Co-op Mission, Chapter 4, Sandcastle. He says, <laughs> keeping on talking. Um, continue. Almost there. There we go. And my friends, we are in, and we could uh, we could do the mission. So, oh, look at those! Oh, look at those Hueys over there. How iconic! 
How iconic is this? Um, so hopefully, my friends, that has helped you with uh, how to install custom scenarios on your remote Nitrido or other PC community Armour 3 server in the cloud. It's, it's pretty simple to do once you've done it a few times. As I say, by all means, click through to this really good um, tutorial. Well, it's a step-by-step -step guide from Bisec Hosting because it, they just say exactly what I did, but you know they've got it in word form, which sometimes can be can be easier to do. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.